A lot of these hacks have been born out of something that's happened. When you're going down the road, things can be noisy. This is probably the coolest thing I have ever gotten out. If you have a problem with this at bed, get it. And I don't know why they don't do this for the factory. I think it's just because it takes more time to make things super tight. Hey everyone, Izzy and MJ from Endless RVing. So you may or may not know, as RVers, oftentimes you're confronted with different issues, different problems. So we're always looking to make things a little bit easier and a little bit quicker for us. So in today's video, we're going to bring you some really cool and really affordable RV hacks that we've implemented that have made our life much easier. Number one is going to be in the bedroom. Easy, follow me. This is probably the coolest thing I have ever gotten. Now, I actually got this idea from somebody, I think it was in a Newmar group or something. So who's ever out there that, that brought this up, you're a genius and I love it. And it's right here. So this thing has made my life so much easier. Guys, these, these little nightstand areas in the Newmars are great, except everything falls off. So if I had, you know, like my chapstick or whatever, I'd wake up, everything would be on the floor. So this I got right from Amazon. It's a car seat organizer. So it literally fits perfect here. So I, I just put it here. Obviously I take it down when we travel and close the slides, but then everything fits perfectly. Nothing's rolling off. It's right within reach of the bed. It's the best thing we've ever gotten. And I, I, I keep asking Izzy if he wants one, he does it. But if you have a problem with this at bed, get it. Number two, when you're going down the road, things can be noisy. One of the reasons that things can be noisy, if you have a microwave, is this thing, right? You'll have this, there's usually a metal rack here and just imagine that going down. Oh my God. Yes. It's really annoying. So what we do is that we take the rack out. We take the glass out. You could wrap it however you want. You can want to wrap it in a uh, bubble wrap or you want to wrap it in pa newspaper. Does anybody even get a newspaper anymore? I don't think so. Wrap it up, put it in a nice, in a drawer where it's going to be tight. It's not going to rattle around. And then Problem when you're going shot. down the road, you don't have that noise anymore. All right, next RV hack, and this one drove us crazy for a long time. Listen, guys, if you have a motorhome, unless you are getting a Prevo bus or a Newell, there's going to be noise. I don't care how much you pay, if you have a King Air or if you have a Thor Ace, it doesn't matter. There's going to be rattles, there's gonna be noises. A big source of that noise is the door. And I don't know why they don't do this for the factory. I think it's just because it takes more time to make things super tight. But two big places where there's noise is going to be right here, right? Number one, from the, the uh, latch catch here, uh, you'll hear some squeaking on here. There's one way to get rid of that squeaking. You just put a little strip of electrical tape like we did here. Now, just a disclaimer, that will only last, you know, maybe 30, 35 opens and shuts. And then it kind of gets chewed up and then you just replace it. Like a roll of electrical tape will last you years. The second thing we did, here's another big source. You have the screen door, right? It's not really super tight onto the entry door and you'll, you'll hear like rattling which going down the road. But what we did is we put some felt, if you see here, we put some just felt cushions. These are one inch felt cushions and it keeps everything nice and tight. So when this door closes, it's going to be tight on there and it's not going to rattle. The third thing we did, if you look, is that I just got some felt tape and I lined felt tape all the way around the door entry frame. So what does this do guys? It makes everything a lot tighter and it greatly reduces, almost eliminates all that noise. The next one is really useful if you're outside. When you're having a camp out or whatever, anytime you're outside entertaining, you need paper towels or napkins or things. And it's always like, where do we put them? Where do we put them? Get yourself a flag holder and you have a built-in paper towel holder. So you can put this anywhere. I mean, here we had to put it in the, the mulch, you know, it wouldn't go in here, but this will come in handy and just leave it out there. So anytime you're gonna need paper products, they're right at your fingertips. All right, the next thing, this happens a lot, is getting locked out of your RV. How do we know this happens a lot? Because it's happened to us. Thankfully, we had a coach net that 
got a locksmith out. However, you still had to wait. We had to wait, well, like an hour and a half. How can you help resolve this? Well, number one, double check when you leave that you have a key. We actually have a system. Yes. One will say to the other, uh, physically check you have a key, and that has helped. Uh, the second thing is getting some kind of lockbox. Now, we have a lockbox on Nelly. There's plenty of them out there. We have a magnetic lockbox that's hidden. Don't ask in the comments where it is. We're not going to tell you where it is, but it is <laughs> hidden. If we ever do lock ourselves out, we at least have a key to get into the motorhome. Okay, the next one is going to be... I've used this for a long time, but MJ uh, made me aware that they make it for motorhomes also. So if you've watched our videos, you know we do our own oil changes. Part of changing your oil, you have to drain the oil out of the engine. There is a drain plug. However, when you take that drain plug out, you're wearing gloves, oil gets everywhere. So what is the solution? I've used this on my Ram on other cars that I've had. It is a drain plug that has a release valve on it. It's made by a company called Fumoto. They're out of Japan. They've been around forever. They make really good products. And all you do is once you take your initial drain plug out, you replace it with this Fumoto plug that has just a little release lever. And then you let that lever out. The oil comes out nicely. You hook a hose to it. You can route the oil to your oil pan, to an exterior pan, clean everything up super quickly. So we want to thank the official sponsor of this video, RV snap pads. What are RV snap pads? They are the world's only permanent jack pad. What is that going to do for you? It's going to make leveling much easier. Gone are the days of those thick multiple blocks we used to carry. Now we just have permanently mounted jack pads. So we love RV snap pads. Number one, they're made in the USA. Always a plus. Some of the benefits, increased stability for each landing foot, added protection for your jack feet from bending or damage, reduced slipping or sinking on soft surfaces like mud, and protection from indirect lightning strikes. Now, we have partnered with RV Snap Pads to offer our viewers a special discount on a set of Snap Pads. All you have to do is click the link in the description, submit your RV info, and get an instant recommendation for your rig. Also, RV Snap Pads offers the additional discounts for veterans or first responders. If you don't fit into that category, though, we can save you 10%. All you need to do is plug in the code ENDLESS10, and you will save 10% off. So, if you're looking for the world's best and only permanent RV jack pad, check out RV snap pad. So the next few hacks are going to center in this area. If you want to use your microwave as storage when you're driving, you can do that and you can stack a lot of soft foods in there. So any breads or bagels, anything like that, you can stack them in here. If you're running out of room elsewhere, it's a great place to keep them safe. They're not going to make it rattle. And you already took the glass out of there. So that's a great, great place to store food. The next thing is an Instant Pot. Now, an Instant Pot is a great cooking hack because you can use this to cook so many different things. We've had an Instant Pot for years, but you can see rice, multigrain, porridge, steam. It, you can make soups. You can make desserts. You can make breads. You can make pasta. It's endless. And we use this a lot when we camp because it's just, it's quick and it's easy and it's small enough that we stick it right in our cabinet next to our kitchen table out of the way. So this has been great. The next thing here is this monster. This is very cool and you can see it's magnetic, magnetic and this is where we keep it. So if we have to, you know, if it's dark and we just need it quickly, boom, it's super bright. Okay, Izzy uses this a lot, or if I have to climb under or whatever, because you can just attach it right underneath if you have to look at something. Amazon link for this will be in the description, but this, again, anytime you can attach a light like that and not have to be, you know, you can be hands-free, that's gonna come in handy. All right, the next hack that we have, and again, a lot of these hacks have been born out of uh, something that's happened. So the next one's gonna be like uh, shelf linings or uh, storage linings. Here's a perfect example. We used to keep, we still do we keep different liquids down here and what will happen is if you're going down the road things spill and then you're cleaning everything up or it can stain the wood but here you see just uh these come in rolls it's just a like felt lined liner and you cut them to the shape that you want and you can line whatever you wish we have it down there you could also see over here we have it on one of our shelves and we also put things in plastic bags but these come in all different sizes, all different colors. You see we like have a lot of paper towel. They're super easy to do. They'll redu reduce the noise. They kind of prevent things or reduce things from shifting around. Very easy hack. All right, so the last thing, and this one we use all the time again, if you have an RV and you're in it, you know, you shut the lights off at night. Sometimes you have to get up at night. 
you have to pee, the dogs that get up, whatever. You're stubbing your toe. Now you can use a flashlight, that's fine. We have, we set up some LED accent lighting around the RV. Now we have it in the living room, behind the TV. Also, we put a strip in the bedroom. The particular one we've used is by a company called Govi. I just kill the lights off. And the reason why I like this is because it's Bluetooth capable. So if you look at the light here, I can go right on the app, if you see, I'm connected to the Govi app. Now I'll just kind of see if you can look with the light. You can change the brightness of the light. So right now it's at 1%. I can bring it up, make it really bright in here. I can change the colors. If I hit red, orange, green, I also can do different types of scenery, right? So I want movie scenery, or if I want romantic scenery, you can- Ah, I didn't know they had so that. All, you could even make it put to a, like play to music. You hear everyone that's energetic, twinkle, all different like, types of things. I like the romantic scenery. Yeah, it's pretty cool. These are super cheap. They're super easy to install. They have 3M backing tape. You can cut them to length very simple. We will put the link below. So put in the comments below, what do you think about those hacks and put some of yours so we can add them to our list. And if you're interested in RV DIYs or RV campground reviews, we'll put those playlists to the left of us. And for myself and MJ, we thank you guys for watching and we'll see, see you, you on, on the, the road. road.